Elohim and Meskwak. My creator made me in his own likeness, and he made this country for me. My creator placed me on this earth, loves me and reminds me of his love at all times by being around me. I see him in the earth who gives me my food. I see him in the sun from whom I receive warmth and health. I see him in the trees around me, in the rivers and streams. He has placed fish and turtle for me. Wild game and fowl are always plentiful so that I might always have plenty to eat. Indian Powell continues with thanks and praises of the uh, Great Spirit for the abundance of food for the winter. And it is the manifestation of the Great Spirit that these uh, blessings be uh, given to us. In the fall, our people prepare for the winter. So squash drying is one of the things that our people do. It's a side dish, like a special food when they eat it, or it could be used at ceremonies. In the winter time, it could be prepared with water to try and get it to its original form and they use maple sugar or brown sugar on it to sweeten it a little. A little. They have always had prepared uh, squash for the winter, and it used to be they used tallow from the deer for their seasoning. If we have a real good uh, uh, sunshine, hot sunshine, well, it, would, it could dry in four days. But usually when there's a lot of moisture in the air, well, it takes longer time to dry. Grandmother was used to make a lot of uh, yard bells. She was one of those that helped us in uh, bringing back uh, the designs. We have had arrowhead design, and they can be uh, three arrowheads, or five arrowheads, or maybe uh, more, which would make the belt wider. You learn this through uh, what you see. Your my mother did a lot of the, those things, so I have seen and what they were doing, and then I, maybe from that I wanted to do something like that. There are a lot of people that want to wear them, and there are even uh, non-Indians uh, want to buy them too and wear them with their casual clothes. 
I don't make them to uh, make money on them. I, I only sell them as art. And my aunt told me that the meaning of wearing a belt is like you untie it and you retie it again. It's something like uh, like rededicating yourself. You retie your belt. It's sort of a lesson to me. You know, you want to do something better while you retie your belt. The Meskwaki beadwork can be worn with uh, costumes to set it off more or add on more decorations. Our people used to use porcupine quills when there were a lot of porcupine around. And, and the material could be gotten then. These they would dye with the natural dyes whenever they are in season. And so they would have to know how to plan to get their colors and apply them to the quills as they want them. And they stopped using the quills when the, the material was, couldn't be gotten. This uh, a beadwork uh, it could be uh, made by the individual. This is what we are taught, but of course, if the person cannot m make them, while well, somebody else makes it for them. A circle is a sign of strength. So that's why you see so many uh, rounded rosettes. The bead worker will find her own design to, uh, to her own liking. By working with the designs after a while, a person would uh, know just what kind of design that she can create from the other designs. We are told we are not dressing for other people. We are dressing for the creator so the, that the more decorative and, uh, and of your own making, the better it is. Once we were half in our country and we were seldom hungry. There was plenty for all of us. But the white man came in and they have made little islands for us. And always these islands are becoming smaller. For around them surges the flood of the white man and it is dirty with lies and greed. My people have been Americans for a thousand of years before your people came. The question is not how you can Americanize us, but how we can Americanize you. We have been working on that for a long time. 